What is Hi. it? Okay, today we are going to show you how to do art that is replicating something that this amazing artist did. Her name is Sonia Delaney, and she has done a lot of geometric art. And so this is what we're gonna do today, kind of after her techniques and style. So it's really fun, really simple, just using stuff that you have at home. So all you need is a ruler, a piece of paper, a marker, or pencil to start off with, and all kinds of lids and box containers of different shapes and sizes. So if you have a circle, I would suggest getting ones that are multiple sizes so that we can get the technique that we want. So squares, rectangles, whatever you have in your cupboard will work. To get started, all you need to do is get your ruler, anything straight. If you don't have a ruler, you can use a piece of paper. Um, you're gonna put some lines. Now, on the one that we've done, we just put three lines. That's it. So an odd number is pretty good. So three lines, five lines. Mm -hmm. I probably would not go too much more than that. Then it gets real crazy. So let's go ahead <clears throat> and make three lines. Or five lines. It's fun when they crisscross for the purpose of the project. You'll see why as we get going. So trust the process. I'm using a marker so that it's darker for you guys to see. Do you need a ruler? Yeah. I might need a fair ruler because this goes in. You can use mine. Okay. There you go. So there's my lines. One, two, three. Where's the middle? Just like this. That looks good. Where the line will go. <clears throat> All right, so next you're gonna just grab whatever shape lid you want. I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna put some overlapping. They're obviously going to go through, the line will go through the shapes. Some, you can make them go through multiple lines. That is going to be really cool when it's time to color. So let me start tracing and then I'll show you how we add. Okay, that. So here's one shape. And I'm gonna do a bigger circle because, and even if your lid has a little flappy like this, then just don't trace over that part. I'm gonna make a bigger circle over the circle that I just made. That always looks cool. <laughs> kind of hanging off the page too. And then I'll just connect that side. I moved it. You're right, just kind of Okay. It does get a little crazy. So you're gonna have to color these in. So the two, if you have too much, it's too much. <laughs> All right. They're, boys Where's are gonna start the, tracing theirs as well. Where's the littlest? shapes and lines where you want them. It's really fun because you're the artist and you get to make up your own art. So you get to put them wherever you want. Then it's time to color. Now, the trick with this is if you're doing what the art like she did, you're only coloring in the sections that are within the lines. You don't want to have red and red. You don't want to have purple and purple touching. So you're going to separate them wherever lines are. So even if this whole square is one shape, you're gonna color each section a different color. So I might color it yellow, then red, then purple. I could do this yellow because these are not touching. So get creative, maybe choose a few of your favorite colors and stick with maybe three or four. Show your colors. Yeah, I'm probably gonna use these ones. These ones are really big because there's a lot of big spots. Sometimes they're small so you can use a thin marker. Perfect. We love these smelly markers. They just, they smell so good. <laughs> they work really well and they smell really good. So we're gonna get started. You have fun at home. Pause it if you need to, and we're gonna get rolling. Jeremiah's, ooh, careful, oops. 
uh, he likes to put his a frame around so that he doesn't like have the edges of the paper. This is a great technique for watercolor. I do it real carefully, just use painter's tape. Anyways, when you are, what was I gonna tell you? When you are coloring, you wanna make sure that you are trying, not getting like white, not leaving white spots. This is like the ultimate coloring page. So if you're using crayons, um, you know, make sure you get in there really carefully. Look at that fun little frame. How fun is that? So cool designs. I love that every person and every artist has their own special style and design. It's really fun. So I cannot wait to see what you guys do at home. All right, let's see what you got. This was mine. What'd you got? Ooh, he took a different twist. Every artist is different, right? Mm -hmm. I like it. He left some white, one big bold color, and the rest just colored red. I like it. What'd you do? Ooh, so fun. Well, if you had fun with us, we would always love to see what you guys are doing at home. If you like what we're doing, hit the subscribe button, check out our other videos, and we're just having fun. Yeah. Just doing what we do. Mm -hmm. Everybody say bye! Bye! bye.